Good morning, everyone. I apologize in advance. I'm recording this outside and I live near a highway, so you might hear cars coming and going. But this is honestly the most quiet place I have at the moment. But I felt that it was imperative that I get this word out. America, it's time to wake up. What I can say is that God is not pleased with America. We've turned our backs on him. We've mixed paganism in our daily lives as well as our faith. We are continuously supporting, encouraging, participating in sexual immorality, and we've allowed false doctrine to pervert us. America, you must repent and turn from evil. If not, God will make an example out of us. This message is the grace and mercy of God. Please don't take his grace for granted. Please read Romans 6. There is something coming, and it's closer than we think. Read the entire book of Hosea, because at this point, this country is no different than the people during this time. My mind keeps going back to Hosea 2 specifically. Also read chapters 4, 6, and 10. Take more heed to those chapters, I shall say. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. This is from 2 Peter 3 and 9. The Jezebel spirit is the leader in all of it, all of this. Do not let pride lead you to destruction. We should be in prayer, we should be fasting, and we should be repenting. Lord, have mercy on us, Father. We are a wicked people who don't deserve your grace and mercy, yet the blood of Jesus speaks on our behalf. Take notice, gracious eternal Father, of your people who have humbled themselves before you on behalf of this nation. We pray for divine exemption and to be under the shadow of your protection, my Lord. Lord, let your will be done in this matter. May your glory come forth. If it is by correction that we must learn, we know that it is in love. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I pray that you go to God in prayer and ask him for a revelation. God bless you.